Tacos Bananas. I'm Randy Hamilton. I'm still Randy Hamilton. Is there a doctor in the house today? You betcha, because we got a doctor here who is attracting worldwide attention with his fabulous new cure for the teenage problem, acne. And, backed by popular demand, one of our favorite contests. All this plus lots more right here on America Goes Bananas. But first, let's start the good times by dancing to Bang a Gong by Witch Queen. Now, come on down here and dance. good dancers you know we get letters all the time about our dancers and about the beautiful ladies on the show and uh, those uh, people are right because we got both we got some hot dancers Peggy how come you quit so fast I'm tired you're tired how can you be tired I got up early you got up early how now how early do you get up that's my excuse don't ask me about it <laughs> you know what I'm talking about I get up at six at six what do you have to go out and milk the cows and do all that stuff first <laughs> no I just get up early so feed the chickens <laughs> No, I just... You walk, walk to 10 miles to no, school in the morning? I don't walk to school. <laughs> okay, I, enough of this nonsense. You know, if you're one of the millions of teenagers who's plagued by acne, then our next guest <laughs> has some super news for you because he has just discovered a new cure. Please welcome dermatologist Dr. Frank Yoder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Frank, welcome to Bananas. Thank you very much. Good to have you with us today. First of all... Oh, got my mic all tangled up. I got to ask you, it seems almost hard to believe that there could be a cure for acne. When did you discover this? Well, this is work, the research that I did about uh, two and a half years ago on patients who had really treatment-resistant acne, just very bad, very severe. And we started treating them, uh, and we saw this dramatic improvement, and it was just phenomenal. And we have, have not treated them for up to two years at this point in time, and they remain clear of their acne problem. 
But now you discovered this cure for acne kind of uh, as an accident. You were testing something else, weren't you? Yes, this was at the National Institutes of Health, and I was working on uh, treatment of a disorder called lamellar ichthyosis or fish skin. And what we were using was a, a drug that has been uh, used for cancer, but uh, it, it worked very well in lamellar ichthyosis, this fish skin. And one of the patients with a re related disorder also had acne, and he cleared up. And so we pursued that and found found our results to be very positive in the treatment of acne also. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, you brought some pictures along of the fish skin problem. Yes, Is that correct? Yes. Uh, Let's take a look at that. I think we've got some up we can look at. Yeah, that, uh, that shows a boy. This is an inherited condition where the scale builds up. He has it since birth, and uh, there, previously there was no, no treatment that was effective. Now, if the other slide, uh, post-treatment, after treatment for uh, two months, Jeez. you know, it's what a dramatic change. almost completely c clear. And he looks very happy. Oh, He looks I thrilled to death. So. That must be a terrible thing to have. Now, is that particular disease something that will clear up the same way the acne will after treatment for so many months? No, these patients have to remain on the drug uh, for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, they do not clear up. Uh, they're not cured like, like the acne patients. Now, are. how do you use this drug to cure acne? Well, the way we did it was give it, giving it to these patients with, with really terrible acne. And we treated them for four months. And within four months, they were about 90% better. Uh, after seven months, they were almost 100% better, and two years after not getting any medication, they remain clear. These are uh, an oral medication. It's a capsule that they take. Uh, usually, w they were taking it twice a day. Mm -hmm. What are the ingredients in this particular capsule? Well, this drug is related to vitamin A, uh, at least chemically, in a structural manner. But it's much safer, actually, than vitamin A in the same dosages. I don't recommend anyone taking a lot of vitamin A because you can get severe liver problems and brain problems and, and bone and joint problems. Uh, so uh, no one should run out to the store and buy a lot of vitamin A because that will do nothing but harm. Mm -hmm. Now, you've, you've tested these people and they have been off the medication for two years and so far there's been no return. Do you see any possibility of, of the acne returning in, say, a little longer period of time? Well, most, most patients who respond to present-day treatment for acne uh, will worsen as soon as they're taken off. And this is the first drug to really have this effect. And I think two years is a, a very long time to go without it. So I doubt they'll have any further recurrence. So you think that the two years is long enough to show you that probably n there will be no recurrence? Uh, that's, that's my opinion, yes. Mm -hmm. I think so. uh, you brought some slides along with you, didn't you? Yes, I did. Uh, Can we take a look at some of those, Jeff? Now, what is this? This is a girl who uh, had severe acne for many, many years on her face, cystic. They were very tender. And then we treated her, and uh, was, you know, she was completely clear. And all the acne lesions cleared and, and left no scars, which was great in this girl. Now, if someone has had acne, so now here's a, here's a very serious case. Yeah, here's another severe case. Again, these were very severe cases that we initially treated. and. Uh, Again, the after picture shows uh, complete clearing. Now, we didn't get this girl early enough because she did have some scarring left. Now, if a person came to you for treatment with a case like that, but what causes the scarring? Is that caused by their picking at it or that? Well, kind of that, that aggravates, aggravates it, but that's not the only thing. These are very uh, inflammatory red lesions, which will lead, leave scarring if, if you do nothing. So just them. having the condition just long having enough the will condition. cause will cause the scarring. Yes, so it, it's, it's very important to treat acne in an early phase to prevent scarring. Mm -hmm. I think our audience probably has a lot of questions for you, so let's go out there and see what okay. they have to say. Let me start right down here with you. What's your name? Mike. Now, I'd like to know if this uh, cure will be expensive. Uh, probably it will. It's uh, not on the market at this point in time, uh, and I, I expect it will, but it, it's just too far in advance to, to really set a price on how much each pill will cost at this point in time. Okay, another question. Cindy Snide. Um, I was wondering, is acne related to your diet? No, I think uh, most dermatologists, including myself, believe that diet has very little role in making acne worse or like, even causing like it. Like greasy foods and chocolates greasy and Greasy foods, like that. chocolates, pops, and all those things that have been incriminated over the past in my opinion, have no role in making this worse. Okay, I'm going to sneak down here. What's your name? Bobby Boggs. I'd like to know, and can someone do anything to prevent acne? 
Well, there are, there's treatment available today that is slightly effective in soaps and lotions and some antibiotics. So yes, there is treatment to, to help prevent it today, but it's, there are no, quote, cures at this point in time. Doctor, are there any side effects or have there been any side effects noticed from this procedure? Well, uh, the only side effects we really saw were mild chapping of the lips with a little chapstick that makes it goes, go away. Uh, and uh, no serious significant side effects have been seen at this point in time. Chapping of the lips, certainly a small price to pay. Um, Linda. Um, why haven't they come up with a cure? Why is it taking so long? Well, I think uh, that's a very difficult answer, uh, question to answer. Uh, it's been uh, studied for many years, and we, we think we know what causes it, but it's not a simple matter of just killing a bacteria and, and having it uh, go away. It's, it's, it's taken many years to even start on research that would, we couldn't even talk about a cure. Okay, another question right back here. What's your name? Janice. Since it is not on the market yet, what would be the best thing to buy? Well, I think uh, most of the over-the-counter drugstore preparations probably are not very effective, and I, I wouldn't uh, really single one out uh, today to, to tell you, recommend to you to use. Doc, we've seen by these slides and some of the pictures you brought, there were some dramatic changes. I would imagine that uh, the lives of some of these people have been greatly affected by this change. Oh, yes. I mean, the psychological benefit to these patients has been tremendous. I mean, uh, uh, teenagers who have acne, uh, you know, it, it scars more than their skin. It, it, it affects them for their whole life. And this is such a critical age in most people uh, that, uh, you know, they, they're, they're angry. Why do I have acne and why does not, why she doesn't or something like that. Uh, and these patients that, what, now that they're cured, are, are just uh, a whole different person. When do you think this uh, medication will become available, Frank? Well, I think uh, it will take about three years to uh, go through the FDA to be approved uh, uh, for routine use. Great. Thanks so much for being with us today. Uh, you, this has really been an enlightening discussion. Obviously, there are a lot of people out there who've got some hope to look forward to now. Dr. Frank Yoder. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Just go. Just stay right here. Okay.